And more than a dozen victims of Superstorm Sandy uh, are now in Washington for a new shot at life. That's right. They arrived this afternoon at the Washington Animal Rescue League and Natasha Barrett was there and she has the story. These faces have been through a lot in the last couple of months, separated from their families, no home to return to. These eight dogs and five cats waited for weeks at a Queens, New York animal shelter after Hurricane Sandy, just in case their owners came back. Some were broken up from families, like the family would bring three cats in and they might only reclaim one, which is heartbreaking. Today, workers from the Washington Animal Rescue League brought the animals to D.C. They spent a week with the animals in New York and say it was hard not to get attached. Very, very stressful, obviously. Um, so, you know, they were, many of them were plucked off the street or rescued from, you know, dilapidated buildings or people just couldn't take care of them and brought them in. Yet another new place to get used to, but another step toward adoption and a permanent place to call home. Bringing them here just brings it all full circle for me. I'll know that they'll have a great home. We'll get them great people. The next step in all this, these dogs and cats still need to get a checkup. Once that happens, it'll still take about at least three days before you can adopt them. From Northwest DC, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News.